Hi, I'm Tim Farmer from SNW Sports in Concord, New Hampshire, and I am one of the co-presenters of this weekend's event with Pat's Peak. It was a beautiful weekend, uh, probably the best one I've had in 14 years. We couldn't have asked for better weather. We had some good rain on Friday, but the course was dry. It was beautiful. It's been sunny, not too humid. So it was just a beautiful weekend. Four, three, two, one. This weekend consisted of many different events. There's an endurance piece, which is a six, 12, or 24 hour race that starts at noon on Saturday. And you can do that either solo or on teams. There's a Saturday afternoon downhill practice and then the actual downhill race is Sunday. And then again, Sunday morning with Route 66, we do a cross country race. Route 66 is just a conglomeration of series races where we travel to venues throughout Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Vermont. And we offer mountain bike races to the amateur racer uh, from Cat 3 all the way through Pro and Elite. They race a number of different laps on our different venues, anywhere from two to three hours per race and varying lap descending and climbing uh, vertical feet. Uh, we try to make it as user friendly and as family friendly as we can and uh, it seems to be a hit. The length of the course this year was roughly six miles. It had uh, between eight and 900 vertical feet of climb per lap. We tried to tame it a bit and make it a little bit more rideable. Uh, there used to be a section that people nicknamed the hike a bike and we took that out completely. The new additions that they put in, there was one particular single track section that was a, a definite off the bike section. So they bypassed that, put in some new bridges and some new single track sections that wove around that particular section and got you up the hill in a different area, but much more rideable, much more user friendly and, and the riders just seem to, to love it. The uh, 6 12 24 hour race that took place between yesterday afternoon and this afternoon, the racers there absolutely loved it and, and really beat the path in for the cross country race that we came and did today, Sunday. The crew at Pat's Peak invested over $10,000 in the course by adding many bridges and tons and tons of stone dust to take down the mud and the entries into the, in and out of the trails. Uh, I got a lot of good feedback from the riders that participated this year and we listen and as Jim has said, his email's easy, it's jim at patspeak.com and he wants to know the good, the bad and the ugly because we listen to you guys and without your feedback we can't make it the event that you want. We just, I can't again thank Pat's Peak enough for going out of their, out of their way to to make the course a lot better. They listen to the riders in years past that have emailed Jim Wall and let them know, you know, particular sections that they didn't feel were race worthy or rideable worthy. And, and Jim and John came out and they spent almost two solid months building bridges and bypasses and, and making the course user friendly. And I bet if you went around to any of the races you see here, you'd, you'd get the same input. That, that They love the course, it was very fast. Our top pro rider, raced four laps in under two hours so I mean that's in and of itself says a lot for a course of this magnitude. It's, it's an awesome course I can't say it enough. Kudos to everybody here at Pat's Peak.